Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So I constantly get asked one thing over and over and over. How do I make more game cash? Now I assume the people asking me this are probably brand new players. I know I've made a couple of videos on this, but an updated video on something every once in a while is probably good. So I'm going to show you the best things you can do to make game cash. Now unfortunately when you're brand new and you start out, I think they limit the amount of game cash you earn per race. And the lower the tier car, the less it makes. So you really want to get into the game, the, you really want to try and get through the storyline as fast as possible. Like you start off, you know, racing the new fangs and the gold rushers and eventually you get up to Shaq's Industries. All right, you want to try and get through those storyline races as quickly as possible. I do have some uh, videos all about which cars to use to get through shacks. The cars that you can buy in the dealership, there's one car from each tier, which is at least excellent for its tier to start off with. And those will get you through the first set of the storylines. Once you get into tier five, you're going to start earning more money, okay? More money per race. And eventually you're going to get into these regulation races. Now, some people say they can make like a couple million in, a, in about an hour of playing the game just running these regulation races over and over. For example, this regulation race here is, pays 11500 So you can always just pick the, the best, regula best regulation race that you are able to beat. All right, each one's got like a noob pro. Once you get to tier five, there's three There's three tier five regulation races. You can pick like the noob race, the intermediate, or the pro race. Of course, the pro race pays the most. So once you get a car that can beat the pro section on tier five, you can sit here and just race this all day and make loads of game cash, all right? So another thing you can do is live racing. You can go into live racing and you can just beat as many people as you possibly can. Of course, the higher tier car, the more cash it's going to do. Now, for example, this, this F12 Berlinetta is a very broken car. It gets, even though it beats Dino Time by a lot, it gets destroyed in live racing. Now, there is a cheater tune for this car. I don't really promote the cheater tunes, okay? And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Cause people people tune this car and they beat Dino by a crap load. A crap load, alright? And they will go in there and they'll make two hundred thousand dollar bets in live racing and they will blow you away. You won't even stand a chance. You know what? I've currently got this car set to the cheater tune. And I'm going to show you exactly why I usually usually never take bets from anybody. Because if you really know how to down tune a car, I actually don't. I've never really got into the whole down tuning thing. I don't understand it. I, I do know how to down tune this particular car. And I'm going to show you what happens when somebody down tunes a car. Alright. I am going to destroy this guy. All right, people will come in here and make these big giant bets and you're going to accept it and you're going to lose. So, making bets is a is a risk, okay? Watch what happens here. 3 2 1 Go. I'm going to destroy this guy. Actually, I didn't destroy him. So, he had he probably had some sort of down tune or something as well. But check it out. There goes 13,300. All right, when you're in a crew, all right, when you're in a crew, you can get the get some different bonuses, I guess, to make a little extra money, but basically I just made 13,000 game cash and that's about the most you're going to get for a win. Let's try and race another person. All right, maybe I hadn't reset this tune, I don't know. But on a fresh reset tune, this car will usually blow everybody away by a crazy amount. We're going to go ahead and race another person. But these cheater tunes, and then you've got the hackers that uh, can actually add extra fusion parts to their car and run way faster than their car is supposed to. So those are a couple of things you really got to watch out when you're making bets on this game. Because there's so many people out there that are trying to cheat you, alright? 
For example, look how much I beat this guy by. Like, he didn't even stand a chance. He just finally... See, those cheater tune cars like this will destroy you in a live race and people will take all your money if you bet those guys. So, you got to be careful making or accepting bets because people who make the bets are very, very confident that they're going to be able to win the race. This guy rematched me for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and give him a win because I just cheated him out of a win by using the cheater tune. So, I'm going to let this guy win. All right, and then we'll talk about a few other things in a second here. All right, I got a nice bad start, some bad shifts, horrible shifts, all right? So we're giving this guy the win. He deserves it after I use the cheater tune on him. I don't, I don't use the cheater tunes, all right, for live racing. I think it's wrong to do that. Now, if a car naturally beats the dino time by a lot and blows people away, cool. But... I don't purposely tune my cars to make them destroy other people. All right, that might even not even be a fresh reset tune on this car either. It, you know, if it is, it usually beats people by a lot more than this. So, anyways, in order to make money, there's as far as I know, there's no glitches. There's, I mean, unless you actually mod and hack the game, which eventually you're gonna get caught. And they're going to ban you for life, all right? I know plenty of people who have done mods and hacks, and they have been banned for life. So, really, the only way to make cash is to keep on racing. The easiest thing you can do, it's very tedious, and it's very boring, but you're just going to sit here and run these regulation races over and over and over with your highest earning car. All right, so pick the regulation race that you can beat that pays out the most and just sit here all day and just I mean this is really the easiest and quickest way to make a bunch of money I mean you can just do this over and over and over I mean once you get really fast cars you're gonna have no problem beating the I mean this F12 is awesome the F12 is a car that everybody should have alright once you, you can buy that in the dealership and it is a little bit expensive, but you can keep buying and stripping, buying and stripping, buying and stripping to get parts for this F12. You know, this F12 destroys... This F12 is great for everything except for live racing. On a normal tune, this F12 gets beat. But, you know, you can just sit here and do this all day. Just, just regulation, regulation, regulation. All right? That's actually going to be the fastest way for a legit player who's not cheating to earn money. It's just easy wins, just regulations over and over. And there's a tier one, tier two, tier three. Every tier has a regulation race. So no matter what car you have, you're still going to be able to do some kind of regulation to earn some extra money. I mean, this is by far the fastest and easiest way to earn. All right, so let's... The only thing I don't like is it forces you go to go back to your garage every time between the regulation races. So let's try and check something else out. So we've got some tier one, tier two, tier three. Like here's the tier three. You got rookie, you got amateur, and you got pro. So you can make more money off these things as you get better cars. Let's find the tier one. Check it out. Tier one regulation race, right? That doesn't pay very much. 1,600 game cash. We're going to go ahead and race that. Now, you can, you can take higher car tiers into the lower tier regulation races. But, I mean, that's pointless because you don't make as much money unless your higher tier car can't beat. Like, if this could not beat the tier five race yet, I guess this would be cool. But, but watch this. We're going to destroy this car. <laughs> All right. I'm already across the finish line, and it's going to be like 30 seconds before he is. So I ran a 6 second, and he ran a 13.5. Check that out. It told me what time he ran before he even went across the finish line. But the easiest and fastest thing you can possibly do is... All right. Race as much as you can, okay? Now, every day, there's all kinds of little races all over the map. You want to make sure you're always doing your daily battles, all right? 
every four hours you can do a daily battle. So try and log in for one of those as much as possible. A lot of times after you after you do win a race, you can actually watch a video to make another 7,000 game cash or something. Now, if you're lower tier and you haven't got up to uh, Shack Industries yet, all right, you might be you might be like making less money per race. Um, when you watch a video, it might not even let you let you watch. You may may not give you as much as it's giving me when you're at a lower tier. The bottom line to make as much game cash as possible, you're just gonna set through here and you're just gonna race and race and race and race and race. Boring, I know it's boring, but there's no quick way. There's no quick way to move up and win all these races. Bottom line, there's no fast way to do it. There's really not, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it is, I guess. All right, like I'd run through the first thing I do when I wake up. I run through all of the little daily races, like the Crew Cup. I've already beat this one yesterday, so I've already correct collected the prizes. I'm not going to do this one today. Now, I do want to run through. I should have been down here running this tuning trial, all right, getting these parts and whatnot. But since I'm making the video and just kind of showing you guys, I mean, if I beat this one, I'm going to get 12,000 game cash. Live racing actually pays out a little more. So if you can get a car that wins in live racing, all right, li live racing wins are going to pay out more than the uh, daily races or stuff. But when I wake up in the morning, I run through all the little daily races on the board. I usually watch videos to get more more gas. That gives me more time to run through more races. Then later in the day, after I've finished all that stuff, if I get 10, 15 minutes here, 10, 15 minutes here to jump on the game, I get on and I, I run a tank on live racing. An hour or two later, if I got 10 minutes, I'll pop on and try and run through a tank of live racing. A couple hours later, I'll pop on and try and run through a tank of live racing. And then, like when our when our crew when our crew uh, activates the wild card, all right, that means we get more respect points for winning live races. I try and try and live race for about an hour, and I actually use my gold to refill my gas tank. So. Basically, all you're doing is just racing the the highest paying races you can find, and race those over and over and over and over. And live rate, try and get a win as many live races as you can per day with the highest tier car that you have, because the higher the tier car, generally, the more game cash you are going to make. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.